How to connect CJ Dropshipping to Amazon. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect CJ Dropshipping to Amazon, why should you be doing that, and how you can become a seller on Amazon. So let's jump right in. Now, what can you do when you connect CJ Dropshipping and Amazon? Well, if I open up Amazon over here and I search for any type of product right now, so let's say I search for a lip tint. So right now we have some popular brands. And then if you scroll down, you will see a lot of listings that are coming off of places like CJ Dropshipping, AliExpress, Alibaba, and other platforms. And these listings are by dropshippers and you can become a seller on Amazon and start dropshipping your own product from CJ Dropshipping. It's really easy and CJ automates a lot of the process for you. The difficult part in doing this is to actually get approved for a seller account. So for a seller account on Amazon, there are a couple of prerequisites that you need to fulfill. When you're creating your account on Amazon's Seller Central, you need to have a bank account and a routing number. You need to have a internationally chargeable credit card, a government issued ID or your social security number, your tax info, as well as your phone info. And once you have all of your information, you can configure your account and you have to currently wait for you to be approved by Amazon as a seller. It's not that difficult, but it still is something to take account of when you're getting started. So let's jump right into connecting CJ and Amazon. So for this first, we're going to have to register on CJ Dropshipping and CJ Dropshipping is a dropshipping automation platform. What this does is that this finds you direct products from multiple places within the world and it provides you with the best prices and it provides you with the best prices. Now, all you have to do is list these products on your store, on your Amazon store, and then you're going to be able to make sales and get a profit. So to do this, simply head on over to cjdropshipping.com, click on register on the top right, and registration on CJ Dropshipping is very simple. You just need to have an email address, and once you have an email address, you can just create, input that email address, and your account can be created. Now, once you have signed up on CJ Dropshipping, then you will have to connect your Amazon store. So to do that, you can go onto the left side over here in this control panel or in this menu bar, and you're going to scroll down in this menu bar. And once you scroll down in this menu bar, you are going to click on authorization and after authorization you have this tab that is going to open up now in this you have shopify you also have tiktok shop shipstation aliexpress all value numer shop shop plaza lazada ebay and many other options however you don't have a direct integration with amazon so how do you do that well, there are two options. You can either do a transfer via API, which is a slightly more complicated procedure. So you're going to go into API keys over here and generate a API key. So once your API key is generated, you're going to add that into your Amazon storefront. And then this will allow you to uh, link products, but Amazon still makes it really difficult. So the other easier way to do this is that you can simply go on ahead and take whatever products you're looking to sell. So let's say for us, it is this, you know, I'll go into the fine product section. So if I go into fine products and I really like this product over here, the slip product, all I have to do is I can contact the seller and tell them that I want to connect to Amazon and they will tell me if they are willing to connect with Amazon and if they can provide you with assistance on that. Now, to become a seller on Amazon, just go into Amazon Seller Central and click on sign up. To sign up, it is $40 plus fees. And 
we're just going to log on to our Amazon account. Once you log on to your Amazon account, you can apply to open up your Amazon store. And once that is approved, then you can connect it via your API. Now, one thing to note is that if your profile gets rejected by Amazon, you need to ensure initially that your product you're meeting a certain quality or standard that Amazon does kind of expect from newer sellers. And if you want to promote your store, then you need to offer lower prices. You need to offer a discount, a better deal for the customers. Now, another really important thing to note is that you will see platforms like ShipStation as well as WooCommerce that are available. And I would say that if you are connecting to Amazon in a third party way by contacting the sellers or by using API keys, a really simple way to just expand your horizons is to connect to Shopify instead because when you're selling on your own on Shopify, you're going to be able to build something like a brand, a value that is associated. Whereas platforms like Amazon are going to limit your ability to brand these items as your own private items. Instead, these, these will look like, you know, generic private label items that are created in bulk. Another really important thing to note is that you have WooCommerce available as well, which is going to um, make it easier for you to sell on your WordPress site if you do have a WordPress site. And if we take a look at ShipStation over here, ShipStation in itself is a shipping service for e-commerce fulfillment. And with ShipStation, they have partnerships with Amazon. So you can either just connect to ShipStation station and then sell on Amazon as well. That's another workaround to selling on Amazon because with Amazon there are a lot of limitations that are, you know, that are trying to make the barrier for entry as a dropshipper on Amazon as difficult as possible. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to understand how you can work around your connection with CJ and Amazon. And there is no direct way to do this, but in these, you know, alternative ways, you can contact the sellers, you can directly message with the sellers and manually add product. And you can also do ShipStation connections to Amazon. And these workarounds do work pretty well for most people starting off their business with dropshipping. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say, whether it's about Shopify, Amazon, CJ dropshipping, dropshipping in general, or anything else. Leave that in the comment box down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day ahead. I will catch you guys in the next video.